Hello out there and welcome to English Teacher Plays. We're here with Multiplayer Romans. And yes, it is made by the exact same people as Multiplayer Shooter that we played like four days ago. Uh, they just keep rolling them out. This isn't even the only one that they released today. They released another one called Multiplayer Medieval or something. Um, anyways, we're going to play it um, just so that I can complain. I, I, I bought this so that I can complain. And then I'm going to leave a bad review because obviously it's not going to be good. But let's play. Let's, I mean, maybe it will be. Um, this is to prove all the people who say that I only buy games to play them poorly right. Um, because uh, sometimes you have to shine a light on bad developers. And that's what I'm trying to do here. So let's play some multiplayer Romans. Hold up. All right. We'll click play. Uh, we'll start with multiplayer, sure. Yep. Um, why not? Let's apply. Okay, let's start the game. We will start our multiplayer Roman gaming experience. Well, it runs like crap. Um, Jesus. Oh, this looks this looks absolutely awful. Is there a way to change in the options? Uh, let's. Um. Wow. I don't know. I don't. I. I don't actually care what it looks like. I just want it to run better. Oh man, it just, it's, the frame rate here is just shocking. Ooh, okay. It's a, it's a slideshow. And they're just standing here, they're trying to attack me. So, I'm doing nothing. I'm doing zero things. Actually, zero things. Um, we can emote. There we go. We're emoting. Yeah, so this is how you can tell that it's a really well-coded game. Um, yeah, one sec. Yeah, no, I was trying to figure out... If there was something else going on with my computer, but no, this this thing just really, really is poorly optimized. Okay, oh my god, now what's happening? I'm locked on or something. I don't want to be locked on. Um, left alt. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna go try and jump off. We're gonna try and jump off the, the cliff. This game looks terrible. Uh, the hitboxes are actively non-functional. I don't know why this is running so so badly. It's not like there's a bunch of stuff here. Is that an invisible wall that I'm hitting? That's really annoying. Why bother? What I mean, what is the point of the invisible walls at this point? Oh my god. So here we are, surrounded by dudes. Um, I ran out of the city to see what I could see. Um, and I figured out why this game runs like trash. It uses 77% of my 11th gen CPU. So I'm guessing that um, it's offloading all of the graphics onto the CPU instead of using the um, 1080 Ti that I have. Ah. <sighs> So, uh, the reason why I'm leaving this running for you, I'm showing you guys, um, this is what, I'm doing nothing. I'm doing absolutely nothing here in the game. Um, 
There is no threat to me. They literally cannot harm me in any way. That's how poorly coded this game is. Um, yeah. So, let's go look at the description and see what the game has to say for itself. Alright, multiplayer Romans. Rome is under attack. Grab your sword and go get him. Multiplayer or single player. Yeah, it's, uh... Actively bad. Actively atrocious. So, there's one character model. And that is what the enemies look like. And it's what you look like. You're, you're all the exact same character model, as you can see there. Um, the person fighting is, is fighting some stuff. Um, but the enemies can't hit him, just like they couldn't hit me. Um, and I, I give them some credit. The game is at least running okay on their system, but um, it is absolutely not running well on mine. Um, yeah, I definitely wasn't going to go exploring with the with the frame rate that I was experiencing. Really, really terrible. Yeah, why would you bother? What is the point? You got him! Yay! They, they literally can't harm you. There's, there's no, there's no threat in the game. Um, I mean, the, the city is kind of cool, but I'm guessing it comes with, the, it's, it's an asset pack that you buy uh, on Unreal. That would be my guess. So it's developed by Arker Wright and Arker Games, of course. It costs $1.04. Um, this is a fun and cha challenging hack and slash game. It's not fun or challenging. Literally not challenging. Like... Some of these games are challenging and not fun. This game is not fun and it's not challenging. So it's it's failed on both of its promises. Uh, features multiplayer or single player modes. I, I guess, I guess that's true. Level up system, inventory system, advanced AI enemies. Yes, <laughs> they are very advanced. They run up to you and then sort of stand there for a while and sometimes they notice you and occasionally they try and hit you and miss. Um, and there's literally no chance for them to defeat you no matter how many of them there are. This game is part of the Hack and Slash miniseries event from Arker Games. Be sure to check it out on Steam. The Hack and Slash miniseries event. I guess we gotta look. Um, let's look at release date. Here we go. So, today we have Multiplayer Romans and Multiplayer Medieval, right? And then we've got Multiplayer Bikini Brawlers, for whatever reason. Um, and then we have Multiplayer Pirates, which is a game that we played. And there's Multiplayer Vikings, Multiplayer Shooters. Oh, I didn't play Multiplayer Pirates. Sorry, I played... Oh, maybe I did play Multiplayer Pirates. Or oh, I played a game called Pirate War. I don't know. These are all just... They're literally just asset flips multiplayer shooters all this crap multiplayer wizards multiplayer survivors multiplayer rpg viral multiplayer prop hunt planet i mean it's just it's just bad this is a bad developer this is this is not good i don't have any advice here other than don't buy these people's games i don't know what they're getting out of this i don't know what, why they think putting this crap onto steam is is good i don't know what the i don't know why this is fun for them um it's not even like i sometimes i look at them and i'm like maybe they're putting them up there because they're hoping one will catch on and then they'll be able to support it and um you know they'll get their uh indie dream of success while you know not having to put in lots of work or just trying a bunch of stuff but like with this it's obviously they, they're obviously not making money on this there's no way to, that they're making money on this. And if they're not making money on it, right, then what are they getting out of loading this up onto Steam? You know, is it like each week... It, it, like, maybe they're doing the same thing that I do, which is I make a video, you know, every day or every other day or whatever, where I play a new game on Steam. Maybe they have the same sort of work ethic and they are making a game every, you know, other day and just uploading it to Steam. Maybe, um, but making a video and making a video game are very different things. So yeah, that's multiplayer Romans. It's bad, just like multiplayer shooters was and just like every other game on that list probably is. Um, I can't guarantee that they're all bad, uh, but uh, I could say with a 90% certainty that they're bad. Um, 
And yeah, hopefully you guys at least enjoyed the video. I mean, probably not because it just the frame rates were too low and the the whole gameplay was just not present. The game is not good and not even funny really. It's just awful. So sorry about that. Hopefully you guys uh, stick around for the next one anyway, and I will uh, see you next time. Class dismissed.